Chapter 73, 18th Amendment in USA and Beginning of BBC. In 1916, a German citizen living in the state of California, George Shilton, developed a machine that could crush plant parts and obtain fibers. It was called the decorticator. There was no need to soak the hemp plants in water before getting them from this machine. Meanwhile, Henry Timken, an industrialist, cultivated hemp on 100 acres of land in California to provide the hemp plants needed to test the machine. Shilton's decorticator could turn three tons of hemp into fiber in an hour. When hemp plants were inserted from one side, fibers could be obtained from the other side and as a byproduct, the hardwood of hemp was collected separately. It started to be used for other products. Using a decorticator, plants such as maize and yucca were crushed to obtain fibers. But research revealed that only hemp plant provided fiber of the highest quality. With the advent of this machine, the value of the hemp fiber increased even more. Also, the wood powder obtained by regrinding hemp hardwood after obtaining the fiber is called herds. DuPont was the lead of the dynamite industry at this time. They were able to use thousands of tons of herds to pack dynamite and gunpowder. The First World War ended in November 1918. At that time, a large number of factories in Europe had been destroyed. Cigarette ration to American soldiers during World War I ended with the end of war. All of them couldn't live without cigarettes. Then, that they became addicted to tobacco. In the 1920s, alcoholism had become a major social disaster. Therefore, the American state added the 18th Amendment to the Constitution and banned the production, sale and transportation of alcohol. Possession and use of marijuana cigarettes are also prohibited. The enforcement of these laws was entrusted to a man named Henry Jacob Anslinger. He destroyed the liquor stores all over America and made the American society a country without alcohol. But with this, the illegal production of alcohol started. It was called moonshine. E. V. Ratnam, the Sri Lankan doctor, sent a research paper called Cannabis Indica to the Ceylon branch of the British Medical Association in 1914 and it was published in 1920. It is mentioned in his article that the pharmacophia of Ceylon has removed the information about the hemp plant in order to highlight the value of alcohol by underestimating and ignoring the beneficial plant called hemp in every way. The sound wave transmission device invented by Guglimo Marconi was further developed. It became possible to address people all over the world at the same time. It was called radio. In the meantime, John Logie Baird, who started research to communicate images with sound, introduced television technology. At the same time, the production process in Henry Ford's factories became more efficient. Production of Model T cars began we are the electric assembly line. From the Ford factory, the assembly line system is spread to the other, other industries as well. Therefore, factories were able to produce surplus products at low cost. And by 1922, the study of sales was increasing. American Thomas Hunt Morgan explored fruit fly sales. He also pointed out that there are four chromosomes in the nucleus of fruit fly cells and that different traits are inherited from different regions of the chromosomes. It was discovered that there are only 2000 different parts of the chromosomal line that determine the characteristics of the skin color, the color of the wings, 
the color of the eyes as well as other actions that take place in the cells. He introduced that one part which carries the inherited characteristics as genes. Genetics began as the technology to study genes were born. By the year 1922, the technology that could address the people at the same time began to be supported by the state government. Accordingly, the British radio service was started and it was called BBC. That is the British Broadcasting Corporation. Please subscribe our channel, Project Salon, and thank you very much for your appreciation.